while Matt's still setting up. Hi, everybody. Mission 16. Yay. Hi, Matt. I have the ever-elusive Matt Maloney Presents with me. He's not... He, he will be undead by this point, I'm sure. I don't know when I'm going to upload this. Yeah. <laughs> You'll probably be back to life by the time this goes up, honestly. <laughs> Mission 16. Yay. Day of the Dead. Wait, I don't think you're unmuted. Crap, I didn't think about that. Hold on, guys, you can't hear the ever elusive Matt Maloney for this because I forgot I have to unmute him. <laughs> you're muted. It was funny. Uh, now you can, oh, hear. I can hear myself. Yeah, that's the crime of recording with me. <laughs> you have to hear yourself. That, oh, on, that's not my biggest worry. That you. I can't. They can't hear doubles of you, hun. Or they shouldn't be able to. Me when I said really funny thing. Oh. I'm not gonna say it again. He he's not dead, people. He won't be dead by the time you guys like actually see this. I'll He'll be, be dead. Oh god, that's loud in my ear. It is loud. It's sort of loud. going up and up and up and up. Ah! Boom! My head explodes from how loud ever my cry, whatever it is. Is. There we go. That better? That's very pleasantly, um. Yeah, that's nice. You're welcome. Ah. Uh, no, I'm not killing the poor, ever elusive Matt Maloney presents with the very loud Devil May Cry music that all of a sudden got really loud. And I'm, like, really low. I don't even know if you guys can hear me. Because it's not, like, looking like it. Oh well, we'll go with it. <laughs> You'll at least be able to hear Matt if you can't hear me, so... <laughs> yes, you will. And that'll make everything worth it. Hurry up. Puzzle... Oh! begin to imagine what's going on, it's just... I'm trying to hit two things together and it's really hard because he doesn't run fast and all that fun stuff. And so, what's like... It hard? Maybe hit it that way. No. Uh... So is this some kind of puzzle where you've got to you've hit two hit things these, together? Yeah, basically. That's exactly what this is. It's two puzzles where you have to hit two things together. Okay. And I can't do it because he's too slow. I'm sort of imagining there's a puzzle in Tomb Raider... Not Anniversary, Tomb Raider Legend. Where you've got to hit um, a bell with a big log. I've, you got to try and jump and swing and run around, and it's all very confusing. No, no, it was right there. Oh my god, it was right there. No, get it, get it. Oh, come on. I hate this puzzle so much. It's not, uh, even, it's not even that hard a concept. It's just actually executing it properly. Oh my god, those touched. Those touched. You lie to me. <laughs> I hate you, Capcom, for this. This puzzle. Uh, log on to it. Now smack the crap out of it. Okay, now go over here. Smack so the crap what out is it? What is it you're smacking the crap out of? They're like little balls on chains, and there's a pair of them, and you have to hit them both. Okay. And you have to like get them to hit each other, which is apparently I don't remember having trouble with this with Dante. Okay. Hold on. So like a giant Newton's cradle. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. There! Finally! I had to, like, actually make myself faster in order to do it. Huzzah! Ha. Huh. No, now, how not... how do you do that? I turned into devil mode. Nice. 
I realise that having someone that can't actually see what's going on is probably going to make quite boring commentary. No. So I'm literally going. I'm going to be forcing you to say um, what's happening on the screen about ten seconds after it's happened, which is even worse than just commenting on what's happening on the screen anyway. I'm fighting angel thingies, but they're about to be dead. Oh, they are dead. Never mind. I was fighting angel thingies. Oh, Wayne teleport. God. Oh, I've opened Pandora's box of boring, boring commentary now. Don't did I repeat? Um, did I repeat what I said? Uh, that was quite funny before, but yes. then you muted me, which meant that what I said was you not heard. You were muted to begin with, honey. I, I didn't mute you on purpose. The thing where I said about how I'm not dead, I'm undead. I'm a zombie because I've been playing too much Resi 5, Left 4 Dead, watching too many Romero movies, and then I made a comment about that was the extent of my pop culture knowledge at this time in the morning. I say morning. It's quarter past. Three, yeah. Except it, it actually is morning for me. Well, there we go. It's all exciting. We've only just woken up. Yay. That's what kind of crazy players we are. Um, also, I compared myself to Bub in George A. Romero's excellently gory Day of the Dead. I forgot what I have to... Oh, it's a fight the monster thingy. Alright, Virgil, teleport to the nearest monster, please. Do other monster thingies like big bosses? No. No bosses? No, they're just like random enemies. Okay. I'm trying to build up a picture of this game in my head using analogies pieced together from various other games. Basically, it's not that great. Okay, so is it, is it a mix between... Final Fantasy and Pokemon where you're just running along and then nope. it's more of they're on the screen already but you get okay, trapped so in rooms and you have to fight them and it's okay so it's a bit like um, in the in the new Prince of Persia where there's there's like various sub bosses that you have to fight yeah there are enemies that you come across and then they go aha I'm going to kill you and then you go, no, you're not, because I'm going to kill you. And then you do. They, they, well, I mean, they're just like demons. They're not really that important. They don't talk. And if neither do the ones in Prince of Persia. That's, I'm quite proud of my analytical skills from various exploding noises coming through my left ear. Yeah. Ah. Uh. Please, like, destroy it. I want it destroyed. Get on top of it. I'll destroy it. Oh, it went back up. Well, that didn't work. The exploding yeah. noises are probably the swords. Yeah, it's, there's moments where it's all really quiet and I get... Noises, and then it goes... And then it's over. There. Yeah, it happened again. Yay. I just destroyed something. How exciting. I don't I hope want. that viewers are entertained. I hope they are too, because I'm not. Because this is not entertainment. This is called crap. This is called lazy programming. No, I want my orbs. Thank you. Ah, ah. Did Matt get dropped? That's what it sounded like. It sounded like he got dropped. He did. No, I've been put on hold. Never mind. I'm on hold. That's just completely fine with me. I'm totally not paying attention to the screen. Do 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 do. Die, Mr. Rookman. Sorry, hello, I'm back. Yeah. Ah, uh, the curse of the Let's Player, the parent. Walking <laughs> in. That is, unless you live by yourself. Then you don't have the curse of the parent. Good point. But then, that's that's a rather sad situation where you're in when you're... That's, I think being a Let's Player is fairly geeky and quite a lonely experience. And then, 
to get lower than that, you have to be living on your own, recording yourself playing a game for the internet. Well, I mean, what what if like I don't know, say two Let's players got married, and they lived in the same house. That would be adorable.